Hi there everybody, it's Rarity here from IncubatorFly.com Thank you very much for joining me today for another card making tutorial and I am participating in um, one of my stamping teammates uh, creative colour challenge um, blog posts it's her second one, she's just just recently launched it so um, <clears throat> I really love colour, colour challenges so I thought I would start participating in those and it just sort of helps to get those um, creative juices going sometimes at least I think it does so the link to her blog um, the creative colour challenge is going to be in the description so like I said this is challenge number one uh, number two pardon me um, and the challenge uses Misty Moonlight, Daffodil Delight and Highland Heather okay which is quite an interesting combination so the card i came up with was this one okay so i've used highland heather cardstock and ink to uh, stamp the sentiment and butterflies here and then i've custom colored some ribbon in um, the misty moonlight with the stamp and blends marker and brought in the daffodil in the layering okay so that's what we're, we're doing. The um, products we've got are the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and coordinating Brilliant Wings dies. Okay, it's a distinctive stamp and it's all in one stamp, it's like a background. Uh, we've got this large die that will then die cut those butterflies for us which I am going to need so I'm going to just pull that off the backing sheet and then we also get a set of these sort of lacy dies too and then the sentiment comes from the in symmetry uh, stamp set really nice set uh, and I really like the scripty font on this so that's what I thought I would use I'm using that thanks so much uh, but of course we could swap it out for something else use what we'll use whatever you've got in your stash but that's what i wanted to use today okay so in true um ink butterfly style i'm swapping up some colors i've brought in some more of the uh white seam binding so that we can color that but we're going to color it in highland heather instead and basically all the i'm basically inverting the blue and the purple okay so i'm going to use a misty moonlight card base stick with the daffodil and white layers here okay bit of scrap to do some stamping okay uh, the layers here this basic white layer is uh, three and a quarter inches by five and then we've got our daffodil mat that's a little larger than that and an extra eighth of an inch all the way around so the first thing I want to do is colour the ribbon because I want to make sure that's fully dry before we use it on our project. So I've just got my two lengths of ribbon here and some scrap paper just to um, protect the surface. And I'm going to bring in my dark Highland Heather Stamp and Blend marker. I've cut them longer than I need just so that I can go hold on to uh, this end and um, apply the ink without getting it all over my hands. Okay, so I'm just going to run over that. This seam binding ribbon is quite, um, I want to say thin. That doesn't mean it's less quality, it's just the nature of it. But it will absorb that ink beautifully and it goes straight through um, to the side so sometimes uh, with the thicker ribbons you'd have to colour both sides to really get that intensity um, but with this one just going in over the top will do the job so just using that brush tip there on its side just to apply that colour and like I say I'm just doing this first so that it's got plenty of time to dry it will dry quickly because it's alcohol based but um, we just want to be absolutely sure so um, I'm going to put that to one side and make sure that's fully dry before we um, do anything else so a um, scrap of cardstock here for our sentiment 
which we're going to stamp in misty moonlight as I say this is from the in symmetry uh, stamp set photopolymer straight up and down fantastic quality so um, you'll get a good result every time it's quite a juicy ink pad so I'm just gonna give that a moment or two to uh, dry before we um, punch that out so what I'm going to do is bring in the Stamparatus which I've already got my Butterfly uh, Brilliance stamp mounted on there I'm going to put a stamp case underneath there so that um, we can ink up that stamp which you can just about see in there can't you and we're going to take our Misty Moonlight I only really need um, two of these butterflies so I'm just stamping up the top portion of the stamp just so that we're not wasting loads of um, cardstock, ink and um, etc. We only need the two um, of course you could stamp the whole lot and make uh, multiples of the card or change up the layout and stuff but um, I just want the two butterflies just for today's project so I'm just going to flip that over got some white cardstock in the bottom there that's oversized so that we can we've got plenty of room for that stamping and we've got the coordinating die to then cut those from the cardstock so just giving that some firm and even pressure Using a soft cloth gives you um, a nice smooth action to rub over the top of that, especially if you've got some dexterity issues. We have this beautiful, beautiful image that we can now use. Just going to pull that off and flip it over so that we can clean that up in a little bit and just carry on with the card making for the moment so I'm going to add some Wink of Stella to these which is a fantastic product because not only does it add sparkle you can actually use it to pull some of that ink from the line art to add just a hint of colour to that image which would otherwise be quite stark white okay so she's really um, nice with the um, the darker colors in the stamping up um, color collection rich razzlebury blackberry bliss shaded spruce night of navy this is misty moonlight I should imagine evening evergreen would be good as well and um, possibly um, just jade. Pacific Point works well as well. And then the reds, of course. Real red, cherry cobbler. So we've got a sort of double whammy, a little bit of colour added to the backgrounds intensifies the lion's art it's only subtle but it, it, it's something it takes off that darkness and then we get the glitter over the top it's subtle glitter but it's it's really cute so um from the angle i don't know whether that's showing up on the camera i hope it is and then we can lay our die over the top <coughs> um and run that through in fact do you know what we're going to do we're going to cut that down so we're not wasting that other part, bit of the cardstock okay so we don't want to cut into that then if we um cut that down it doesn't matter if this um overhangs it's all it's going to do is cut into the um uh, the cutting plate underneath which is what it does anyway when you run it through okay so we'll just secure that in a couple of places just to make sure it doesn't go wriggly around and just run that through the stamping um, cutting emboss machine it's a nice open die so it's going to go through nice and easily it might make a bit of a cracking noise like that <laughs> but um, 
that doesn't harm anything it's quite normal for that to happen so don't don't worry if your machine makes those cracking noises as it goes through and then we have our beautiful butterflies that we can now bend and shape a little bit oops so bend it in the middle and then bend back your wings and then we've got our nice um shaped butterflies and we'll just go back to our sentiment that's now completely dry and we're going to use the rectangular postage stamp punch Oops. to um, punch this out just taking it slightly over to the right just because I know that um, when we put the card together that ribbon's going to overhang that um, that rectangle and I don't want it to obscure the, um, the sentiment itself and then we're going to take some dimensionals top and bottom on there so that it can be added to our card and now we can start putting some things together right Okay, let's mat and layer these. I'm just going to bring in my stamp and seal for that. I like this because it's nice and quick and easy. Right, line up your three sides and then drop down the top and it should be good to go. Then going to put a couple of lines of tape on the back here to secure the ribbon around the front which now should be completely dry okay the alcohol will make the ribbon a little stiffer but that's okay just trim off that excess no one's ever going to know that that's behind there, so that's fine. And we're going to pop this up onto some dimensionals as well. And apply that to our Misty Moonlight card base. Backing papers come off very, very easily. position that onto the card hopefully something like straighten in the middle that looks okay good sharp crease on your top fold okay so before we do the bow we're going to um, position the sentiment and then we know where everything else needs to go okay so I'm just going to Bring that in close to the edge so that we can still got that little bit of Highland Heather peeking out on this side as well. And then we're going to tie our bunny ear bow. So make two loops and cross them over in a single knot. Let the tails do what they want to do. And then you can fiddle about pulling the loops and tails until we have the desired size and shape of that bow so the knot will be nice and small on this ribbon because it's it's really nice and fine okay and then we can just trim off those and apply that to the card with a glue dot mini glue dots are brilliant for this kind of thing and because the knots are very small I'm just going to use a pokey tool to lift that off um, and just fold over that a little bit just so that it's not sticking out from behind and then we can position 
about where we want it, which is going to be probably around there. Okay, and you can just fluff that up a bit. It's gone a bit flat. Okay, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Then all we need to do is add our butterflies, which we're going to do with some wet glue. I'm just going to be nice, generous blobs on the um, on the back there, so that they make contact with the card underneath all that um, dimension and stuff. So there we have that one, and there we have this one. So just peeking out over the edge of the cards as well, the layers, because um, it just sort of brings the whole whole thing together when you've got things um, that draw your eye into the card. Not adding any um, rhinestones or anything, you could of course if you really wanted to, but I want to just leave it as it is showcasing those colours in that colour challenge. Um, as a reminder there, that's... Um, that's Vicky's um, creative colour challenge. Misty Moonlight, Daffodil Delight and Highland Heather. And these are the sample cards that I've made for you. There. Okay. Link will be in the description if you fancy having a go. Okay. New challenge each Monday. There we go. Hope you've enjoyed that and you're going to give it a go or do something similar. That's it from me for today. Take care. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.